What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have some of my favorite boxy t-shirts. I just wanted to run through about five of my favorite t-shirts. I tend to gravitate towards boxy fitting ones. Uh, they just tend to suit my proportions the best, honestly. So I figured I would highlight some of my favorites, where I got them, why I like them so much, and a little outfit. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before all of that, make sure to go like this video. It really, really helps with the algorithm. So I would appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already and then also follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there let's get into the rest of this video so the first outfit is going to start off with the base of this black tee so to get this whole video into perspective a boxy t-shirt like the one that i have here this is basically a vintage tee that i flipped inside out i will be covering this t-shirt in a bit more detail in my next video Video, if not my next video a very uh, a video that's on the horizon let's say um, because I have a bunch of vintage stuff by that I've been putting aside for a video so this is one of them so I'm just gonna gaze over it quickly but this is a perfect example because the definition I find of a boxy t-shirt t-shirt is based on the measurements so if you take this into account pit to pit which is a measurement you guys should get familiar with from the pit of the t-shirt to the other pit of the t-shirt this measures out at 25 inches I believe and then from the highest shoulder point to the bottom of the t-shirt it's also 25 centimeters so that just kind of you're like 25 plus 25 that's a square all the way around so that's how I kind of define boxy t-shirts but it doesn't necessarily have to actually be equivalent in width to length I just find if they're kind of similar, then you kind of get that effect of a boxy t-shirt. This is just by the extreme definition, a actual box t-shirt. So it took me a while to find a vintage fitting t-shirt like this with a nice wash. But once I did, I was really happy with it. This is from Old Clothes Are Cool. I'll have his link in the description below if you guys are into vintage and all that. But yeah, I'll definitely be covering this t-shirt in more detail in the next video. I just wanted to cover it a little bit here first. You guys will see the graphic and all that in the next video. But anyway, for this outfit, everything's kind of based around t-shirts. So it's very simple and plain. You can't really go wrong with just a t-shirt outfit. All of these are probably going to be used in the summertime. Obviously, it's rented right now, but you could incorporate your own layering tactics where you see fit. So for this one in particular, I went for these Wrangler pants, these paint splattered pants to complement the t-shirt just because I found when I was wearing these pants in the summer, I, I found out that when I put my keychain on the right or the left side of my pants, which my keys are right here. This is just like some Vitaly keychain that has like a little curb link on it hold on let me see if i could zoom in on this so yeah it just has a little accent detailing you don't have to have this exact one but any type of keychain i feel like it's a cool little accessory or even a wallet chain but if you keep it on the side and you have a boxy t-shirt the combination of the two you're able to see little details like this so if you have a wallet chain if you have keychains stuff like that and you want to show off where your waistline is or even a belt for that matter that's kind of where these come into play also it just really depends on your body if you have super long legs or you're really really tall and you don't really like showing that off then probably going for a longer t-shirt is better for you me i'm tall but i'm not super super tall and I have long legs, but I don't have extremely long legs. So elongating those proportions are a plus to me. So I don't mind having a shorter torso, therefore elongating my legs. So I feel like it's a good combo to do. Also having it a bit slimmer, it kind of does a little bit of this, which not too many people are fond of, but I feel like for this outfit, it kind of does work out. If you don't find so, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, with these pants, my perfect combo for these pants I always found was these Anda Mulemister Backley's combat boots. I tend to only really wear them with slim fitting pants, not skinnies. Well, sometimes skinnies, but uh, for the most part, slim fitting pants is this shoe's best combo in my personal opinion. So that's what I ended up doing for that. Felt like they looked great. You guys let me know out of all of these, which is your favorite. On to the next one. The next 
t-shirt. We're gonna go with some color now. Kind of the most matchy matchy outfit in this whole range. This is by my friend's brand Moral Trading Post. I showed this shirt off in the summertime and I feel like certain pieces like this definitely deserve more attention. This is another example of a boxy fitting t-shirt. I didn't take the measurements of this one, but I'm assuming it's pretty similar. Beautiful wash. This is in indigo dyed naturally in the same fashion that a lot of Japanese manufacturing methods are done. It's really beautiful. It's really hard to do this, especially to get it as even as he did. But there is definitely natural characteristics in this t-shirt that make it almost look like a sky. Really, really nice piece right here. These are all repurposed vintage garments that he indigo dyes himself. So yeah, really love this tee. It's just a vintage nursing boxy tee is what he uh, called it. Definitely one of my favorite pieces uh, when it comes to boxy fitting t-shirts. When it comes to color, I don't have too many, like, when I go colorful, I go all the way. But when I like spices of color, I like light, lighter tones. And that's definitely a t-shirt that I try to seamlessly integrate into my wardrobe when I just want a slight little pop of color and I don't want to go too crazy. Cause you guys know when I do the color, I do go crazy. So for this outfit, like I said, kind of went matchy matchy and you guys will figure that out with the bottom of this. But moving down below, we have the Arcteryx pants. Wanted to get some details on these because I always have questions questions about what these actually are. Let me try and find amazing. Okay, so what are these called? After all of this time in the care label or whatever, it actually tells you the name of the pants themselves. So those pants are actually called the Rampart pants. I know so many people were asking me about the Arcteryx pants for a while now. And I didn't know the name because when I bought it, it was in store and they didn't actually have it by the Arcteryx name. They just had it as like nylon shell pants or whatever. Rampart pants, beautiful pair of pants. My favorite Arcteryx pair of pants that I've owned so far. Definitely like a couple other ones, but I don't know if it's something that I need to dabble into because I already have a pair right now. But maybe later on next year in the winter, it'll be something I'll explore. But yeah, Rampart pants a bit on the lighter end. So if you wanna, you should probably layer up with some heat tech or something of the sorts of that. But anyway, on to the footwear of this outfit. This is where it gets matchy matchy. We have the Thunder Blue SB Dunks. Had these for a minute now. Like I think I had these since like 2014 or something like that. So it's been a couple years and we've seen Dunks come in and out of fashion and they're really in right now. I haven't been buying into it on some hype tip. Uh, I, I'm more and happy with the pair that I have. And I've also had my chance to like really stylize a couple of my friends' pairs. Like my friend Remy had every dunk under the sun. He had the skunks, he had the, S the Supremes, all of that. So I would definitely like use a couple of his pairs for, for fit picks and stuff in the past. It's not something that I need in my life right now. I'm more than happy with the pair that I have. So that ticks the box for me. Trendy enough for the young bulls on the block. Let's go on to the next outfit. Now with this one, this is a bit more of a, whoa there buddy, almost knocking things over. This is more of a simple, easy to wear type of outfit. I just felt like I should chuck this in, even though all of them are t-shirt based outfits. I felt like this was definitely an easy one to put together because it's stuff that you could easily mimic and it's not too out of there or out of the box rather. This is this Balenciaga dark heather charcoal gray t-shirt with just the front logo. I got this out of the mystery box I did not too long ago and it has this little graphic on the back and I wanted to tie in some of the green notes from this back graphic, even though it is a great t-shirt. I felt like I could kind of play with neutral tones and then also just base colors and the accent color being the green. So I ended up going for a pair of Dickies carpenter pants just to kind of offset the gray and contrast it nicely while still staying in those flatter tones. I felt like it was a great pair of pants wide enough to cover over the shoes and make them look as nice as I wanted them to be. And continuing further down low, we have the accent colors that I was speaking of before, which was the green, my version of the green fours, the hidden NY fours, whatever you want to call them. I haven't gotten much wear out of these, unfortunately, because it is winter now, but in the summer, I was definitely happy with these once I purchased them from Central. And as soon as
soon as I saw that they were gonna release, I was really excited about these. So def definitely appreciate these and I definitely wanna wear them a lot more often. Can't wait for the spring. And yeah, I just felt like this was a solid wearable outfit option. On to the next one. We have this outfit based on my favorite off-white or white vintage tee. I wouldn't necessarily say this is the, the most boxy fitting t-shirt, but it's on the boxy spectrum. Let's say that, okay? So this is a vintage tee by Yes um, from their Union World Tour from 91. Not a huge listening fan. I gave them a little listen, not something that I would play every day, but definitely one of my favorite t-shirts in my collection. It has this sail or eggshell white to the whole tee. Love how it's oxidized over time and I just feel like it has beautiful colors on the graphic itself. What I ended up doing was kind of playing off of the blue. I feel like blue and gray kind of complement each other very nicely. So I ended up going with the Samuel Zelig pants from a couple of videos back, workwear, just felt like it's a very standard plain pant to go toward. I just felt like the Samuel Zelig pants were a great standard pant to go for. And like I said, blue and gray kind of complement each other very nicely. Tying this whole workwear element together, I ended up going for the Alix hiking boots. This winter, I hadn't been, like I haven't been really wearing them as much as I thought I was, but I seen them on the shelf and I was like, I miss those things. I definitely want to bust them out for this outfit and I felt like it was the great it was a great match to put it together and I just been wearing the puddle boots so much that I wanted to give them a break it would have been an easy pairing so if you want to swap those out for these definitely could do that but I wanted to do the hiking boots for this one just out of personal preference yep felt like it was great let's go on to the last and final outfit so the last one is definitely one of my favorite t-shirts if not my favorite t-shirt if the white yes tee is my favorite white tee this is probably my favorite black tee next to the first one that i showed you guys but i still have yet to like really put in a good amount of wear on that because it's been in the corner of my room collecting dust waiting for a vintage video for you guys but all that to say this printed afix twin t-shirt my friend actually had made for me and it's yeah it's basically made for me it started off as a vintage black tee he actually altered it so that the bottom was shortened so it started off as a size xl but he shortened the length so it fits like a boxy tee now which is perfect he did his own screen printing of this it ends up being like a crackled used washed out metallic screen print on the front for the apex twin logo beautiful beautiful piece i definitely would love to have a vintage one in my collection they just end up being super hard to find and once people find them they end up taxing them so this is my own version of that and i really don't mind it being a reprint or whatever because it ends up looking perfect in every way and i'm the one that's wearing it it's not like i'm trying to bamboozle someone that this is a vintage one once i find a vintage one then i would, I would gladly pick it up but i doubt it would have this nice of a fit on it like this one does and the way i put this one together was very simple the easiest way to put it together all black so moving further towards the bottoms i ended up doing the alix holster pants i got those from third born a while ago definitely one of my favorite pants a little bit on the slimmer side but i do still enjoy them do i wish they were a bit more baggy yes but it does have me experiment more on slimmer silhouettes and how to balance those proportions out and the way i did it was since it was a bit more flowy on the top it goes a little slim then you have to kind of flow it out near the bottom again just to kind of balance it out and i ended up doing that with a chunky pair of salomon xt6s this is the black pair i haven't got a chance to wear it this winter as of yet because i had so many other winter footwear options this winter i realized last year i was cooking those things but this year i started wearing the white pair that i just got but I saw those and I was like, damn, I want to start testing the waters with some of the old things that I was liking last year and see if I like them just as much. And I clearly do. I got a lot of wear of those last year for a reason. And I could easily see myself going towards them in the years to come. So that's about it for this video. Really appreciate you guys stopping by the channel once again. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite outfit out of all the five. Hopefully I didn't talk you guys' ears off like I normally do. But I just felt like it was a great discussion to have. I'm talking about 
boxy t-shirts because I do know they're quite a trendy topic of discussion but personally I'm not the biggest fan of really long t-shirts anymore I just feel like it matches the way I like my outfits to be broken down the most in my personal opinion so if anything most of my uppers are cropped if not they fall in my waist so that's what i look for in buying a lot of tops now it just tends to accentuate everything that i enjoy out of an outfit so i encourage you guys to do the same if you guys have the body or the um proportions to do so if it's something you want to go ahead and do i definitely strongly encourage to look into measurements try and see what works out best for you and find some of your favorite pieces measure them and then base everything that you buy on those measurements it helps out a ton trust me and yeah that's about it hopefully you guys enjoyed it like this video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there i'm gonna see you guys on the next one peace